Right, it's me, Chris. From Chris and Murphy. Would you please subscribe? Please put thumbs up. Please and uh, please press the bell button. Then you'll know when the video's added on your device. Today we're just talking about what's going on. We have done quite a lot of artwork this year. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's favour, guys. Sorry, sorry. That's more that. You don't get many people can join together. Right. So, this new Zima building, well, really, I said £10 million to the cost to build it all. But I think it's going to be even more expensive. I've worked out for certain bits. It's costing up to £70,000 just for defibrillators. Well, Donald said, don't get, don't get them then, but really, we do need them, because obviously someone collapses, and we haven't got one. They'll just die, won't they? So we need one. And when you come to the place, if anyone collapses, what you do is, can we try and find me, or can we find anyone else who's trained? Because I need him, you've got to be trained to use it. There'll be like 20 people are trained. I'm one of them, and there'll be some others. See, the security yard will be trained. He's called Norman Guy. He's the, he'll be trained. I'll be training him how to use it correctly, and I'll be training some others. Never. Uh... So if you're coming with your family, and one of your family members collapses, there's nothing to worry about because we'll save you, hopefully. Yeah, uh, thing here. And Miffy, you might have to save me one day. <laughs> Maybe. I hope not. You never know. Well, you might not have heard of Manchester Airport. Massive, biggest airports in Britain, I think. Well, it's one of them. One of them. And, uh, and easy it will be 20 Manchester Airports joined together. 20 of them. Some of you would have been to Manchester Airport, it's massive, absolutely massive airport. But the museum will be 20 doors all on top of each other. So one museum, one museum at the bottom, which is about one Manchester Airport size, then another up top, then another. Just keep going like that, so it'll be a massive, massive, massive museum. Really nice and everything inside, with all my outlook and everything. But it's only £5 a ticket. Which is pretty good. Or you can buy a year pass. Where you can just come any time each year. All year long. So if you get it in 2024, it will be in 2025. That's when we'll be that's what that's the opening date, 2024. Quite a while yet, guys. It's about four years and a half yet. And yeah, so it's going to be a really nice place when it's done. Because I do a lot of artwork. I've done with building designs. I've done some of the building plans. What it should be like inside. And they'll just build it. And then uh, I will uh, put all the artwork up. So it'll be a really nice little building. But... but But on all the artwork, it'll say, please do not touch. You only look, you don't touch. And there'll be a library with all my books stacked up. And you can read those, but you're not like, you can borrow them. But you'll have to pay separately for that. So if you wanted to borrow 12 books, that'll probably cost you, uh, that'll cost you about £10. But you can, we bought, this is the good, this is the good thing. If you buy a year pass for the full year, you can also borrow books, but you're only you're allowed to borrow 12 books. You're not allowed to borrow all for 12 books, but you, but you can borrow less. You can borrow less than 12 books. You can't borrow more than 12. 
with all my books of it. And they've only got a week until I bring them back again and get more. If you do not bring them back after a week, you have to pay us a pound each day. You don't. So if you've not paid, if you've had them 15 days extra, you'll have to pay us 15 pounds then. And, uh, And there'll be a lot, lot more rules. What you can, what you can and that can't do. You're allowed to come to the museum on your own, but you're not allowed to come under five. If you're five, you have to come with parents, because it's a massive place, and you never know what can happen to you. So yeah, it's be a really nice place it's done. So that'll be a while off yet. I just can't believe that machines are so much money. So I suppose our life costs more. That's what we say. So yeah, so and it'll have a restaurant at the bottom uh, near the reception, you just walk two hundred yards and to the restaurant. Well, now I've my house upstairs on the very last floor, and Donald will also be living. Donald will be living there too. But Donald, you do not touch your biscuits. You're naughty, you Donald. Because last night you ordered a bloody pizza without me. <laughs> so basically, I ordered a pizza for us both, two 25-inch pizzas. And, but I just went to shop and bought some. Razor blades, so I needed to, you know what I mean. <laughs> but no, but sorry, it weren't razor blades. It weren't razor blades. <laughs> it was uh, some pop. And when I came back, Donald saw his. Ah! Oh, that was gorgeous pizza. And he's so naughty. Greedy guts, Robert Hardwell Jones. Oh, yes. What a rotter. Hmm. <laughs> No, I might. So I, I had a pot noodle. <laughs> so, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.